we're going through a period of economic crisis that's kind of illustrated a lot of the shortcomings of conventional approaches. It's pretty clear to everybody that economics did not, as an institution, give sufficient warning and certainly did not inform the decision making that took place prior. The Occupy movement has been a, a critical. It's opened up a really a dialogue that was waiting to happen. And what they've done is not only to spark things, they've taught Americans that the Americans care about this. More and more power and wealth has been concentrated in a very small group and that their slogan of the 1% versus the 99% is wonderfully apt. One of the key issues is the extent to which governments get captured by relatively wealthy and powerful interests who turn the government away from serving the public towards serving their particular set of interests. The 1%, the 99%, none of that was being discussed. And it, now that's at the center of the conversation rather than cut the poor people's budgets and cut back in deficits, which is a foolish economic argument, but it's been dominant politically and they have opened that space. They've opened the question and unless we have really good economic answers, uh, that door's gonna be closed. I would hope for an economy in which there's a much fairer distribution of income. A really good economic system would be one that provides you some basic security and safety net in terms of the ability to get an education and the ability to get a job. Clean air, clean water, a safe environment, those are basic human rights. They're not commodities and they're not privileges.